Hello guys, my name is Trey. Welcome to Working on Change. Today we're going to be talking about the Maui fires. Um, some people are agreeing, uh, agreeing and disagreeing about what actually happened, so let's get into it. If you want to like and follow after all this, please do. I appreciate you. If you don't, that's also cool. We are working our way towards a PC soundboard to help with the sound. So if you want to help out, here's my cash app. Thank you. All right, so let's get back to the video. So this man right here is talking about the fires and water and why it should be revered. So let's just let's just uh, let's just listen to this. The commission is responsible per per our authorizing statute to protect and manage all water resources in the state. One water is like taking it and looking at it from a holistic system perspective, and that's not. Dif any different than how Hawaiians traditionally manage water. You know, in, in essence, we treated it, uh, Native Hawaiians treated water as one of the earthly manifestations of a god in Akua, Kane. And so that reverence um, for a resource and that reciprocity in relationship was, was something that was really, really important to our worldview and, and well being, right? And living in an island in, isolated from other, you know, civilizations. Um, and so I think where it shifted to today or over time is that we've become used to looking at water as like something which we use and not necessarily something w that we revere as that thing that gives us life, right? I mean, to me, it's a shift in value set. Um, and, you know, if we can start to really look at how we as humans in an island um, can reconnect to that traditional value set. So really my motto is always like, let water connect us and not divide us. Like we, we can share it, but it requires true conversations about equity. So there's the first part, okay? Some people are questioning like, man, is that why they didn't use the water? Um, this is the official MK Lo manual said he refused to release the water in Maui as the fire rage. So they're saying that he, the reason he didn't put the, you know, release the water to help with these fires is because it should be revered. And so now, obviously there's only so much truth out there. Here's another breaking video. story here in Maui. Shout out to, How hold on now. Shout out to the rebel news for putting this out. Um, they have a great little website they got going on. Um, and she'll talk about it right here. But here we go. Hello, everyone. There is a big breaking story here in Maui. Hawaii has the largest single integrated public safety outdoor sirens warning system in the world. The all azar siren system can be used for a variety of both natural and human caused events, including tsunami, hurricanes, dam breaches, flooding wildfires, volcanic eruption, terrorist threat, hazardous material incident, and way more. However, the mayor of Maui, Mitch Roth, stated that they didn't use the sirens because they were afraid that people will run up in the mountain field because it is what people usually do with tsunami. But the sirens are made for multiple situations as wildfires. Because of this outrageous negligence, countless people died because they was not warned fast enough. Today, we learned that Maui Emergency Management Agency Director Herman Adaya, who made reportedly the final decision against activating the emergency sirens has resigned. It seems there is some accountability to bring towards the authorities. There is way more in this story, so stay tuned for more. If you want to continue and follow our coverage, go to thetruthaboutmaui.com. And if you want, you can donate generously because without you, we cannot do what we are doing and covering the situation on the ground here in Maui. A lot of residents count on what really happened and the other side of the story, but we need you. Thanks in advance for all the nation. So right now I'm reading, uh, what she, uh, I'm reading 
about the Maui fire. And it's the other part I want to tell you about. <clears throat> so done on purpose to open up prime real estate. Maui land grab conspiracy erupts as BlackRock comes under scrutiny. Since the Maui wildfire began on Tuesday, August 8th, there has been plenty of speculation over social media. Some claim that the disaster was not caused by Hurricane Dora, as initially reported, but was a man-made fire deliberately started by the government or by elite classes to grab land worth millions of dollars on the island from the natives. Earlier, a conspiracy theory surfaced on the internet with people claiming that shadowy forces orchestrated the disaster using an energy weapon, or these what you people have heard about the, Ch the, China, the China laser beam, uh, or a laser beam that caused an explosion that led to the flames. However, that theory was later debunked. Now, an alternative conspiracy theory has emerged, followed by a viral tweet shared by uh, TNT John seventeen seventeen. So sorry to hear about Maui. Listen to this, guys. Makes you wonder what really happened, which shouldn't be surprising. A TikTok video from the handle showed a young man claiming that he was involved with the fire in emergency services on the island and did not believe that the fire was naturally caused. He also shared firsthand account of the wildfire. He suggested that it could not have been caused by a hurricane and that there were no other reasons behind it, such as elites intentionally setting fires and effort to grab land so with that being said you know it is funny because you guys normally hear me play this song right here if y'all know that song you know it's about um uh, uh the same kind of concept that the conspiracy theory about getting land and the only way to do that is to do something sinister to get that land and a lot of people saying a lot of the celebrity houses were untouched. Not a blade of fire on their, uh, not a blade was burned by the fire. Yeah, I question it. Sorry, I got to question it. And, you know, I'm I, like I said, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. But at this point in time, do I believe that there was a reason to burn down these houses and make money? Do I think people would do something that corrupt? Yes. Do I think people would let people die to do something that's corrupt? Yes. Do I think people value everybody's lives? No. I hate how evil the world can be. I truly, truly do. But it's foolish for us to think that we wouldn't let people die in order for us to gain. Okay? Even if it's sometimes it's a good cause. People go to war. We have gone to war in America, obviously, and people die. Right? For these causes. Sometimes it's good stuff. Sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's hunger. Sometimes it's greed. It is what it is, you know? And so I think it's absolutely disgusting and tragic that these people have to lose their lives for this money grab, right? Now, if, obviously, there's going to be more reports to come out, and maybe 10 years from now, we'll know the complete truth. But all I'm saying at this point is I'm not saying that's what happened, but am I saying I wouldn't believe it? Of course not. I'm saying I can completely believe it. The Man, the older that I get, and I'm sure the older you guys get, the more you're just like, okay, you know what? The government has lied to us a lot. The government has said things that aren't true. And when they come out, they don't care. They just go on about their day. Right. And so I'm to the point where it's like, if there's a conspiracy theory behind it, some of them I can get behind. Can I get, could I have got behind the Chinese uh, space beam? Probably not. That would have been a harder one to get behind. But can I get behind somebody came out there and set those fires? Yes, I can get behind that happening. Um, the, the part that's so disgusting is people dying because the fact that they didn't even set the sirens, they didn't release any water. They pretty much let this wildfire go untamed and let these people die. That's a problem to me. It's like, I don't understand why we weren't quicker on it and why did, and honestly, I don't know why the president didn't talk about it for so long. He just, he took so long to even, even say anything about it. Every time he got asked, it was no comment. It's like nothing. Can't say anything about it. You don't feel sorry. You're not. I mean, dang, something. Give us something, baby. And so, man, I, I just have to say, I honestly can believe. Not saying it did happen because I am not an elite. I do not make enough money, and uh, I don't have enough power in this world to know what really happened. I'm not a journalist in that in this kind of stuff. I'm more of a journalist for the average people. When it comes to big stuff like this. Baby, that's not my field, okay? I'm just saying 
I could believe it. If somebody came out and said this is what happens in five, ten years from now, they're like, oh, yeah, do y'all remember the Maui fires, the the corruption with that? And it, it turns out to be true. I'm not going to be surprised at all. All the stuff that has happened, happened with Hunter Biden, with the, the chef that passed away on Obama's place, people who turn up this, people who just turn up dead out of nowhere as soon as they come out and say something. Do I think they're just dying from natural causes? The Epstein Island, that was a conspiracy, wasn't it? The Epstein Island was a complete conspiracy. It didn't exist. And now we know for a fact it exists. So it's just like, you know, at this point, it's just, man, we just rats down here, dog. I mean, we're going to live our lives and do the best that we can out here. And we're going to make an impact. But it's sometimes it's, it's sad to think that we're kind of ants to these people who, who run the world, who got all this money. We're just ants to them can be crushed by a small little fire it's not small to us it was obviously impactful to us people down here but to them a few thousand lives they don't care we're just ants they put the magnifying glass on us burn us to a crisp and our lives will never be remembered except for the people who were close to us and so yeah i think there's people at the top who would obviously do this to make more money they don't care about us michael jackson said it all I want to tell you is that they don't really care about us. You know, it just there's just some truth to that. Um, but don't. I, but at the same time, man, I'm not discouraged. I don't think my life is meaningless. It, my life to them, I don't care what they think about me. You know, I'm gonna live my life to the fullest, do the best I can. But honestly, guys, let's stop defending the government every time something bad happens and go, no, there's no way that could happen. Stop it. Use your head. Just be open to the possibility that it could have happened. I'm not saying you have to believe it. That's fine. If you got your own news source and they're telling you different and you truly believe it, cool. But stop being naive. Just be open that some things truly can happen. Y'all, we don't know how much money runs this world. There's a lot of stuff me and you will never see. We don't know how corrupt it is. People talk about the dark web and then they talk about the deep web, man. There's so much stuff going on, baby, that we have never seen. Other people have because they're in that life. So just don't be naive and think that none of this could be possible. Stop thinking that the government always cares about us. The government loves us. They, they would never want us to go away. Don't think foolishly. Money, money can lead to the most craziest corruption because money equals power. Okay, it's not just about buying fancy cars and houses, which what you people think. No, money can have people taken away. Y'all know that. Enough money will pretty much get you anything you want if you got enough of it. it. It means power and absolute control. So let me know what y'all think. Goodbye.